In this video, we're going to have a look at how to output a, a different text for different um, product categories. So for accessories, it's the subtle items. Uh, for music, we have every artist a legend. And for um, hoodies, we have the finest fabrics and unique designs. And then for t-shirts, we also have the finest fabrics and unique design. So let's have a look and see how we can put that all together. And what I'm going to do now is delete that. And now when we go and have a look at the shop, you'll see that no more uh, message. So we're going to build that message from, from the bottom up. Right, so first thing to do is create the function. So it will be function and let's go custom messages right now what we need to do um, as all the products have a category or a term associated then um, i'm just going to go with a div that will wrap um, all the products so i'm just going to then echo a div and then I'm going to echo the closing div. And now, of course, we need to um, tell it what to do. And we also need to check now if um, product has a specific term. So with products, we look at, we call it the category a term in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if has a specific term. Right, then do something. And so the term, we have two um, things we need to complete here when it comes to the term. The one is the term name. So let's say um, music, that is the term name. And the second one thing we need to input is the kind of term. And in this case, it's the product category. If we were doing product tags, then of course we would just replace uh, product cat with product tag. Right, so if it has a specific um, term, then do something. So let's echo out, um, well, I quite like the one we had before, and it was in the in the form of a quotation. So I said, every artist a legend, and an exclamation mark, and then we close off that PHP. So we're going to say, right, this is, uh, if it's in the music category, every art is the legend. Now what we need to do is determine where we're going to output that information. So I'm going to scroll up here and I see here that the title is at number four. Maybe what I'm going to do then is, uh, sorry, the title, uh, let's just have a look here. Yeah, the title is at number four. So I'm going to make this then, uh, output this perhaps then at number five. So uh, I'm going to copy this, head down to below my function. And now what I'm going to do is replace with that. Right, now what I can do is just to keep up with the layout of my website is just after the um, title, I'm now going to have this custom message and then I'm going to save. All right, saved successfully and we've set the category as music. So I'm going to head over to music and open music and you'll see every artist, a legend appears where it should. Right, then uh, we need to give that a class and then do some styling. So now I can head over to the div here and class equals, and let's just call it um, product message. And to make it unique, I'm just going to add a prefix. Right, so let's make that the product message and save. And now when I get over to the website, I'm going to customize. And this is the um, product message we had before. 
So what I'll do is I'll just um, continue to use that one. And basically what we said is give that item a padding of 10 pixels, font style, italic, and the color of gray. And there we can see what that looks like. And I'm happy with that. So let's publish and close. So when we're looking at the album, it'll be every artist, the legend. Now let's go and do something for the hoodies and the t-shirts. And what I'm going to do now is because the hoodies and the t-shirt are both made of fabric, I'm going to add the same message for both of them. So to add the same message for two terms, um, there's a slight difference in the code. So I've just copied that. And now what I'm going to do is I want to put my terms into an array so that if, if the term is one of those two and it's a product category, then I put a different message. So to do that, I'm going to change this to an array. So I'm just going to wrap music um, in an array like this. And now I'm going to add a second item. And to do that, I'm just going to add a copy, the inverted comma. And now what I'm going to do is put um, hoodies. Then I'm going to replace music with t-shirt. If you're unsure of what the category name is, quite easy. I'm going to head over, say, to t-shirt. And there we have t-shirt. And if you look in the, what we call the slug, so we're accessing this value here, we see that it's t-shirt singular. And yes, that'll work. So we're saying if it has a term that is a t-shirt or hoodie and or hoodies, then let's add, so we'll go um, the finest. finest fabrics in the land or in the world right so there we have our finest fabrics let's save that let's go over to the website and let's go and have a look at a long sleeve tee and you'll see the finest fabrics in the world and let's go and have a look at the hoodies so we go back we look for hoodies and the finest fabrics in the world so that worked now let's go and add something for accessories. So back to my snippet. And now we'll copy that, paste that in. And we'll say if has term and we don't need an array. So in this case, I can delete that. And let's delete the braces. All right. And I'm going to go. Uh, Siri is right. And now what I want to say is um, it's the small things, dot, dot, dot. Now, unfortunately, when we're working with um, PHP, every time we put in that symbol, it's going to mean the beginning and the end of something. So what's happening here is it's ending that and expecting something to start. So we can't use that inverted that single inverted comma, we need to replace it with um, some H, the HTML version of that. Um, and so what we're going to do is replace that with some something from a character set, which is then used to, to recreate that item on the front end. And this is what it looks like. And hash um, 039. So that's going to out make sure that the output is correct. So to see what that looks like, let's save. Saves fine. Head over to the front end. And let's go to something in the accessories. So let's have a look at this belt. And there you have it. It's the small things. And we have that apostrophe output as it should. So that's then pretty much... Uh, how we can create some custom content and then based on the term name, output um, a specific tagline on the website. So I hope you found that um, useful and thank you for watching.